Are you interested in taking the Alaska Marine Highway, but want to understand more about what it means to ride the ferry? I'm going to share with you my trip from Homer to Kodiak, Alaska. So this was a one day trip. I did not spend the night on the ferry, but it was an all day ferry trip. So as I mentioned, I started in Homer, which is a great place to visit a cute little town. Great for fishing if you like to do that. I went to the end of the Homer spit to the ferry terminal, which is bare bones, but a clean bathroom inside. I was able to board immediately and I put my luggage on this cart, which they don't tell you anything about, but I've read about it online. So I walked across this tunneled bridge to the ferry. I walked up the ramp to board the ferry and had a beautiful view of the scenery of Homer. So here is the deck plan of the Kennecott Ferry. There's not really people directing you around, so it's up to you to look at the map and figure out where to go on the ship. This is the upper aft viewing lounge, and you were allowed to sleep here. There were other places around the ferry that they did not want you to sleep. Now the most scenic part of this ferry ride was around Homer. I was hoping for more scenic when we got to Kodiak, but it was so foggy. So here is if you were taking a car, you would drive the car on the ferry there. But I was just a walk on passenger, so I did not need to worry about a car. So there didn't seem to be the same type of safety briefing like there is on a cruise ship, but I did see the life rafts and the lifeboats and I felt pretty safe. And those lawn chairs just kind of cracked me up that they're there and they're inside the solarium as well if on longer ferry rides people kind of claim those and use them to sleep on so the ferry is not huge but you can find these deck plans around in the hallways and then i made my way to the solarium so this is the place i'd read about of claiming a chair with your stuff so that you can sleep there and they have lockers there too if you don't want to carry around your luggage you can put it in the locker but since this was just a day trip and not an overnight, people weren't claiming those lawn chairs. So bathrooms are very important. You had regular bathrooms around the ship and then you also had shower rooms. So this is a bathroom and a shower room. You can rent a towel if you don't have one with you. There was also a hair dryer in there. And then you have these two shower stalls that you can use when you're staying overnight. So if you're wondering about food and drink, there is a bar on board. I never actually made it in there when it was open, but I did check out the cafeteria. So when I first got on, it was still breakfast time where they had breakfast specials here. They had hot meals and cereal and things like that that you could purchase. And I thought these prices were pretty reasonable. I was afraid they might be really high since you're basically a captive audience on here. But there's one cafeteria I did have lunch on board, which I will show you a bit later. So they do have a dining area where you can eat your food. They also have this microwave and toaster that you can use. So maybe if you bring some food on, ramen noodles or something, you could use their microwave to heat up the water. They had this little kid's room that you could bring young kids in here to play, like toddlers. Now I'm walking towards the forward observation lounge. And there are some vending machines in here. If you get hungry and need a snack or a drink, if you didn't pack stuff, you can get it here. So they did have some tables out for games, seats near the windows, things like that. They did make an announcement not to sleep in this lounge. And there's an outlet right there. There were very few outlets around, but I snagged this table so I could plug in my computer and get some work done on the ferry. But it's nice that they have these games set up and people were just hanging out, looking at the views, keeping themselves occupied. There was a theater here, but it was only open when they were showing a film and I never made it in when it was open. So if you're taking this ferry out of Homer, make sure you go outside and look at the view as you're sailing out because it is very beautiful out here. Earlier I mentioned I would show you my lunch. So I went back to the food court for lunch. Here's the menu so you have an idea. These are the types of drinks they have available. You can make your own salad, soup. I went with a salmon burger. I want a halibut burger, but they were out. So as I mentioned, I went and took this table because it had an outlet that I could use. So since we're in the Gulf of Alaska, I did get a bit seasick. So bring Dramine or Bonine or some kind of seasick medication with you. So I was very relieved when we made it to Kodiak Island. A little bit disappointed that we didn't have as much scenic views coming in, but it was still a good trip and I made it on time. So if you'd like help planning your Alaska trip, let me know. Use the links below to schedule a call with me or you can join us on our group trip July 2023. We'd love to have you.